Now the next set of words, these next three idioms are about the word, uh, not about, but using the word what. And the first one is, what's the catch? So you might be thinking catch, catch the ball. And that's the right way to think about the word, but because it's an idiom, it doesn't really mean each individual word. What's the catch means, what is the real deal? What are the real uh, circumstances, or what are the real terms of the deal? Again, you can think business. Somebody says, uh, I want to sell you a house. And usually the house is in a very nice place. Now let's say the house is, you know, 500 $500,000. Now this is obviously a big number. You may live in a country where for this amount of money you could buy the biggest building in the country. And, you know, I might be exaggerating, but here in New York, unfortunately, $500,000 is a lot of money, but it does not buy a lot of house. In fact, in Manhattan, you can barely buy a little studio. Well, maybe a studio, but you can't buy a big one bedroom. So anyway, the price of real estate is very expensive. If somebody says, you can buy my house for 200000 I think the first thing you should say to that person is, what's the catch? Because think about it. How can you buy a $500,000 house for 200000 And the answer is you really can't. And if you, you know, if you do buy it, it's probably not the house that you think. It probably needs a lot of repairs. Maybe it's not really in the neighborhood, they said. Um, so of course, there could be a deal. You might be lucky. But usually, what's the catch means? The terms of the deal are too good. So I'll just write that right here in a different color. Terms are too good. You just don't believe it. You know, it's too good to be true. I, I don't think that's right. You'll say, what's the catch? The next phrase is, what's the damage? Before we spoke about dust settling, again, a lot of these things are related to money. They don't have to be. You don't have to use them about money, but a lot of times, a lot of times it's very common that you use these types of expressions with money. What's the damage? An example might be if you go out to dinner with, say, three friends and there are four of you, and you're going to split the bill by four because it's too much trouble to say, oh, well, you ate this and you had seven drinks and you ate that and had one drink and everybody's friends. So they said, look, let's just divide the bill. So the bill comes and it's $100. And uh, you didn't know how much it was. And so then you who uh, don't have the bill would say to your friend, well, What's the damage? Because your friend got the bill. The waiter came and gave the friend to your bill, or he looked at it first. So you'd say, what's the damage? And in this example, the damage would be $25 for each person, because you're just going to divide it. But um, what's the damage is going to be used. Uh, let me get rid of this H. What's the damage is going to be used when you are asking about a bill um, or some cost and then you'd say, what's the damage? The regular meaning is what happened. Like if, uh, if there was some accident, a car accident, and then you said to your friend or the person, well, what happened? What's the damage? But usually, uh, that's the usual meaning. That's the meaning that you would think. But in the case of the idiom, the expression, what's the damage? You should think the restaurant. And the last one, what's the deal? What's the deal means, again, a kind of a little bit about money, like what's the catch? It's not about it's too good to be true, but instead what's the deal means, uh, what exactly are the terms? Like, do we really understand everything that's part of uh, the deal? Which means what we have to do to make a transaction happen. So you can think of the word deal as, oops, uh, that's my eraser. I'll rewrite that. You can think of the word deal as transaction
Think of the word deal as transaction or terms. So somebody says, what's the deal? That means, what's, if, if it's with your friends, it, it really probably means not transaction, but more terms. Um, and you can also use it very casually or colloquially. You can say, well, what's the deal with that girl? Let's say it's, uh, you know, your friend, you're a male, and your friend is a male, and you say, so what's the deal with that girl? It means, what's going on with her? So transaction terms are just in general um, kind of steps. All right, so there you go. Five fantastic expressions, uh, idioms. I think you can use them all. <clears throat> What's the catch? Uh, sometimes I say that. What's the damage? Not as much. What's the deal? Very common. Use it all the time. What's the deal? And uh, when the chips are down, sometimes. And when the dust settles, again, that one I use every now and again, too. So they're all common. So go ahead and uh, practice these, and I'm sure they'll help you.